Greetings, Gwynblade. What could Philippa want? Why does she care about Vergen being free, independent? Like all sorceresses, she likes to dabble in politics. Not one of them would hesitate to sacrifice another life if it furthered their goals. Quite a one-sided opinion. All? None? Life's rather colorful. It's not all black and white. Hmm. Shades of gray, I think. I have no illusions about mages. You know the fate which the Queen of the Valley of Flowers reserved for the Alvan youth. Enid Anglina, known also as Francesca Finderbear, another sorceress. In exchange for the creation of an Alvan kingdom in Dolblathana, she sent the Scoyatal to be butchered while attacking Nilfgaard's foes from the rear. She had a chance to call it off. She could have opposed the Emperor of Nilfgaard and summoned the Squirrels to defend the Valley of Flowers. Why didn't she? In the name of a higher purpose. It's what the Emperor wanted. That's why we became bandits after the war. That's why elves are dying, our young murdered by the likes of Roach. And that's why I cannot trust Philippa Eilhart. Roach could be on the other side of the fog. In that case, I'll finally get him. I came close in Flotsam. Been after him for a while? Ever since he became leader of the Blue Stripes. During his first mission as commander, he ambushed one of my units, cut it down to the last elf. Surprised me for the first and last time. I've been more cautious since then. So it's a personal matter. Vengeance. A theme straight out of Dandelion's ballads. The safety of the Squirtal demands his death. Of the commanders first appointed to such units, he's the only one still alive. I notice there's no Temerian emblem in your collection. We should not claim something's done when it is not. You do realize that a dozen others will replace him when he's gone. Possibly dirtier foes, possibly worse. Better to have a known enemy, you say? That doesn't apply to Vernon. A more determined demon has never walked upon this earth. The longer he is active, the better he gets. I must put an end to it. Tell me about this Dwan for whom the Scoyatel are ready to do battle. Saskia? She's no Dwan. Certainly not like the others. You've seen her. I doubt I need to explain. She's fighting for a Pontar Valley for dwarves, elves, and humans alike. I thought you despised humans. I may only be a warrior, but I'm no fool. This is the best we can hope for now, and it's better than the Valley of Flowers. You think you can repel Henselt's army? No. What do you mean, no? The fortifications and dwarven devices are simply not enough to hold off the Kedwenis. They are just too many. What do you plan to do? You'll see. One thing I can promise. I won't break any pledge I've made. I once met another Scoyatel leader. Yavin. I knew him. He had beautiful dreams and desperately wanted me to share them. Asked the same of you, I heard. You know a lot about me. I try to know as much as I can. About everyone. I'm a witcher. I remain neutral. I didn't take his side. Perhaps that is the correct attitude. Let things run their course. It's worse if we then wonder what could have been had we acted differently. I try to avoid that. Decisions should be evaluated before they're made, not after. How is it that we're on the same side today? Things change. Today I have different goals and different allies. Have you ever been to the Valley of Flowers? Dulblathana is nothing more than a vassal state of the Nilfgaardian Emperor. They call it the land of free elves, but the Scoyatel are not welcome. It's another in a string of painful lessons. But a free Pontar Valley could change that. It's been five years since the kingdom was established in Dolblathana. Over two thousand elves have settled there. Do you know how many children they've produced? A dozen or so. It's no longer the Valley of Flowers. It's the Valley of Sterile Elders. I'd love to see you tell Francesca that. 
Anything new about Letho? No, but I wager he's somewhere on the other side of the fog. I can feel it. Kedmil. Greetings. What are you doing out here this late? Thinking. About what? About the approaching fight. As long as the Mist of Wraiths is up, there won't be a fight. I ponder something else. We women must leave the shadows. When fighting, we're equal to men. But off the battlefield. I'm not sure I understand. Care to explain? We're I the best strategist and the bravest warrior. They still wouldn't give me an army to lead. And all because I was born a woman. You're an exception. Not many women share your dreams. They do, Witcher. But they say nothing as they fear being ridiculed. You like being laughed at? Singled out in a crowd? I'm a Witcher. A freak. I'm a sensation wherever I go. It won't be easy, but you could try to blaze a trail. A worthy endeavor in itself, I know. Thank you, Witcher. Godspeed. Geralt, right? My uncles told me a lot about you. Nice work with those spectres. And Saskia! Well, I wager the gods didn't think you could save her. Your uncle? Cecil! I help him out here and there managing Vergen. Scaling burdens, my name. Nice to meet you. Is Cecil your guardian? Aye. Ever since my parents passed on. They took me in, fed me. Taught me a profession and how to live, really. How did your parents die? During one of the massacres Demavend arranged for us. But I'd rather not talk of that. Sure. Sorry. The mine's safe again. Any plans to do something with it? Of course. Soon as the battle's done, we'll resume digging. Shame to let those rich deposits go to waste. My uncle says they'll put Vergen right back in its feet. Zoltan's talking about a shared enterprise or some such. He's to manage operations with my uncle as general overseer. We just got to save the town first. What'll you do when the battle rolls around? I'll be right out front fighting. Uncle Cecil's allowed it. Says I'm an adult. I'm gonna kick some kid when he has. No fears. Of what? My uncle believes I can do it. And Yarpin taught me how to swing an axe with follow through. I'll smash a few heads, then go to the tavern and drink till I drop. Battles are unpredictable, and this'll be your first. You'll have to kill, wade through piles of bloody corpses, all the while watching you don't get cut down yourself. Sure you're ready for this? Ah, to tell the truth, I'm shitting myself a bit. Straw dummies, that's all I've swung at so far. When I think on what's going to happen here. But, all for one and one for all, right? Just don't tell my uncle, please. He's thrashed me a few times already for talk like that. I won't say a word. You play dice? Do I? I not only play, I win. And my winnings include a nice collection of mementos. See, history, that's what I find fascinating. You might even call me an aficionado. A collection, huh? Rich and varied? Well, for example, some items left by the Dun Banner. A wool coat I'm really proud of. Absolutely unique, it is. Not sure I have anything to offer that would interest you. Not to worry. I'll always take coin if you lose. Win! And you can choose from my collection. Damn it! You win! Scalen, my prize. The sword of the warrior princess Xenthia. Good enough? I'd say so. It's yours. If you'd like to roll again, I'm always willing. Damn it! You win! What's my prize this time? The wool coat of a corporal of the Dunbanner. One of a kind, and truly sought after by collectors and aficionados of military mementos. Where did you get these things? 
I played dice and won them. Now I played and lost. But that's it. I'll play you no more. Don't get mad. Come no! I'm just not fucking playing you no more. Who's this, my failing eye spy? Geralt of Rivia visiting old Yarp and Zegrin. Getting anywhere with the new recruits? Like holes in a brothel, they're plowing away at full speed. Sarsky's army's full of men better at holding their pricks than a weapon. The Zoltan and I are helping them catch up. Most importantly, they don't lack spirit. They won't defeat Hensel's regulars with zeal alone. Ah, we'll show you what an army facing either victory or death is capable of. For we've no other choice, Geralt. I've been trying to figure out what Philippa Heilhorn's doing in all this mess. Same thing as always. Conspiring until she gets her pubes in a knot. I know you hate sorceresses, but try to put your animosity aside. We hate them, it's a fact. But why do you think that is? It's not because of their secret knowledge of their nice tits. Their hearts are full of dumb guilt. Mark my words. You exaggerate. No, maybe not all of them. The Isle Heart's the worst. Need I remind you how she peddled her ass to Dijkstra just to learn the plans of the Redanian Intelligence Service? Everyone in Vergen knows she's not into cock. I tell you this, it's her ilk that caused the ruckus on Thanid Island. Think she's any different here? I'm crap at talking, girl. You do all right. So I'd appreciate it. Soon as Saskia is better, slip a word in her ear to watch out for Philip. Were you in Rivia when I got caught on that pitchfork? Was I? Fuck, Wolf. I saw you die. I didn't see the little bastard who took you for a haystack. But I swear it looked like you weren't going to make it. So I'm well glad you managed to lick your wounds. I don't know if you're talking anything. Come on, I had to. Not many have survived their own death. You haven't noticed that I'm pissing up wind again, fighting for a cause that isn't mine. No, I haven't. A free operator is in the interests of any decent fellow. Did you fight at Brenner? Oh, fuck. I know you've got amnesia, but you could have remembered that. Ah, oh, it was a beautiful day. On one side, six and forty thousand black ones. On the other, us, the Nordlings together. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the left, the Temerian regiments in the middle, and us on the right. The Mahakam Volunteer Army. All dwarfs. Even the likes of Kohor must have shit his britches at the sight of us. He hardly lacked courage as I heard it. All right, brave bastard, that's true. Prefer to die than run like a rat. I don't believe I've ever seen a bigger melee, except maybe three years ago here at Vergen. Would have managed that day too, even without the magic. That burning shit that fell through the sky. Why, even the Dun Banner knelt before us when we brought our battle axes down. Some say not one of the Dun Banner survived. Any truth to that? Biggerhorn nabbed the survivors as they fled south. But most men of the banner lie in the catacombs, along with a standard. The Dun Banner. What the hell kind of name is that for a unit anyway? It's as if they couldn't get their fucking flag clean. Ah, you finally given in. Started killing humans. Hey, Witcher. Started that a while ago, actually. Just wasn't something society was willing to acknowledge. Fulta's death. Society acknowledged that. You know there's a price on your head. Yeah, I know. Too low for the risks involved, though. It's a bundle to us, Witcher. We have to pay for everything. Weapons, food, information. You have to send you. Yorvith will never let me this. Who are you, and what do you seek? Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy. Handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner. The best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Fergen. The Battle of Brenna. 
the Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones, the Redanians led by De Reuter on the right, the Talus leading Tamaria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? Menno Kohorn. I am beginning to believe you. Menno Kohorn. The repulsive head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? Your memory has suffered after death. Kohorn perished. At Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you, but Vergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You are right. Memory often fails us after death. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Vergen. Perhaps the most important day of my life. And the last. Be so good as to remind me. Seltkirk led Edern. Vandergrift led us. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle. Or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. But I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Most of the Dun died. The survivors withdrew south. The fires blocked our way back to our lines and we fell into Biggerhorn's trap. I know, the cowardly bastard. You have proven that you served in the Dun Banner. May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. This one should be. It has stopped King Henzel's army from advancing. The Unicorn has returned. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, He'll avenge the Dun Banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. Take it. You will also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Now, it is yours. Thank you. Where have you left your mount? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna, but I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing. Tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly even as they cut me down. This corpse is fresh. Someone brought it here recently. Clothing ripped in many places. Hmm. Traces of sulfur. Interesting. The head's in far better condition than the rest of the body. Dark rings around the eyes, like an anemic. Just a few delicate bites on his neck. He's grasping a few long hairs in his hand. The forearms are cut up pretty badly as if he had to defend himself. There's something embedded in the bone. I can't extract that without special tools. Succubus.
found a volume of your poetry. My love poems! Some bastard stole them recently. Probably wanted to show off to a young lass smelling of sheepskins. I really missed this poem. It was like being in a brothel with no bones. I owe you one, Geralt. Though I don't know quite how to pay you. No, actually, I do know. Up for a shot of vodka? It's on me. I've got a better idea. Beer? That's fine. All the same to me. I need you to do me a favor. Name it. For this, I'd give you my chastity. If I still had it, of course. I wouldn't be interested. Don't tell me you need another poem for a noon ray. Worse. Please, Geralt, don't get me involved in another messy monster matter. I'm an artist, not... That's precisely who I need to lure a succubus. Are you crazy? You want to see a hoofed hag ride me to death? On the other hand, we all have to die of something. Go to the burned down village after dark and wait for me there. Can we go? I can't wait to meet this monstrous beauty. Her beauty's killed several men. Now you tell me. Like my friend Dandelion says, we all have to die of something. I'll have my eye on you at all times. So will she. Don't let her kiss you. I don't usually deny women foreplay, but I'll do my best. Let's do this. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, well, how should we begin? If you wish, my love, at my side to repose. We'd admire our virtues, me yours and you mine. I could pet your cheeks. You might twiddle my nose. Or, or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. No, that didn't come out right. If our bodies could a song compose. My heart would inquire of your hands, pale and fine, if they'd grasp it gently to hold like a rose. Or, or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. Who are you, gorgeous one? I'm a poet, milady. I've come to praise your unearthly beauty if you'll do me the honor of revealing your full self. Indeed. I shall reveal to you all my splendors. Prepare more than your eyes. I am a feast for all the senses. Come with me for the adventure of your life, fair poet. I should get Geralt. On the other hand, I've never plowed a succubus. I am so unsatisfied. Lovers who compose poems praising my virtues. Delightful. But I've never had a true poet perform for me. Fucking idiot actually went in. I got him into this mess. I'd better get the fool out. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember inviting you, Geralt of Rivia. Let Dandelion go. <laughs> you mean you won't join us? He's come to no harm. On the contrary, he seems very happy. Like all the other men you murdered? I've murdered no one. All who followed me experienced unearthly pleasures. You devour their energy like a swine gobbles spuds. I need their vital energies. I have no use for corpses. What will you do with Dandelion? I shall show you my intentions are pure. I'll release him when he wakes. So if it wasn't you, who killed those young men? I can seduce anyone and hold them spellbound for as long as I wish. Unfortunately, one fool fell madly in love with me. Unable to accept my nature, he's killing my lovers. Who is this lover of yours? 
A beautiful elf named Elias. He asked me to investigate the murders. His way of throwing you off his scent. Luckily, you're no fool. The very reason I think you're trying to throw me off your scent. Did he show you the victims' bodies? He told me they were buried. <laughs> By him. Yet he massacred the corpses first to make it seem as if beasts had attacked the poor souls. I'm content to have you looking into the matter. Just be sure to see it through. Why should I help you? I want men to know that I give pleasure in return for their energy. But I don't take their lives. Hmm. Besides, I can give you something far better than Orin's. I'll talk to him, then I'll come back. I hope we can seal our friendship then. I found the succubus. Did you kill her? She claims you're the murderer. You were supposed to kill the monster, not chat with it. I know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think so, not if you believed her. You lied to me. You knew a succubus had made its lair in the burned down village. I did. I thought you'd refuse to help me if I told you. You're right. I don't help murderers. That is pure nonsense. I killed no one. Liar. You fell in love with her and murdered your competitors. Succubi aren't exactly the most faithful partners. True, I love her, but the rest is hogwash. If I'd killed the succubus, no more men would have perished and you'd have gotten away with it. You don't understand. She manipulated me like she's manipulating you. Jorvith will learn of this. You'll hang for your crimes. You're mad. I'm innocent. Greetings, Gwynblade. Your Skoyatel, Elias, is murdering people from Vergen. Any proof? Elias is one of my best warriors. No. Come back when you have some. This corpse is fresh. Someone brought it here recently. The forearms are cut up pretty badly as if he had to defend himself. There's something embedded in the bone. A metal splinter. Interesting. He was young, just like the others. All the clues seem to indicate a succubus. On the other hand, there's a metal fragment in the wound. Greetings, Gwynblade. Your Skoyatel, Elias, is murdering people from Vergen. Any proof? Elias is one of my best warriors. I found a splinter from a blade in one of the bodies. Compare it to Elias's weapons. I'll see to it. Elias must have learned that I know the truth about his madness. He's fled the city. 